Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to introduce a feature called scroll snapping, which is actually a CSS property. So let's start with that. So what I'd like to do is to create a main element uh, with 100 P's inside with random content and I will just use the index for that. So and now we have the P's. So um, now a little bit boring. So what I'd like to do is to change the f color of the main element. And this is the background color, let's say light uh, pink. It's fine, so it's light pink. And let's restrict or it's, let's set, set the size to uh, 400 pixels. And uh, so, and what's interesting here is this is these are 400 pixels, but as you can see, the uh, piece are rendered outside the main. So we can fix that with overflow. And now we can activate uh, overflow Y actually, overflow Y and scroll. So we can activate the scroll bars and now we are scrolling um, inside the main element. Um, okay, so I would like to do the piece a little bit larger. So let's go height uh, 100 pixel. And uh, yeah, so now let's introduce the scroll snapping. So for that, I would like to introduce a class called uh, scroll. And the scroll class should have an um, other height set to enforce the scroll behavior. And let's say uh, 200 pixels. And uh, what I can say here, um, I would like to change the color to, uh, let's say, this one. And the um, snap type is going to be Y, is the Y axis, and mandatory which uh, will force um, snap behavior. So now we have it, now just use it. So I would like to start with the element 20. So go diff, let's go diff, uh, scroll, and uh, I will end with element number 30. So let's do this. So and um, to indicate the start of the thing, now let's go with h2, scroll. Okay, now uh, it starts with 20. So, and now it comes this scroll part. So um, what happens here? So if I'm just scrolling, nothing happens. Why not? Because I forgot to activate here the scroll bar as well. So now watch this. So I'm just scrolling and scrolling. So, and now I'm scrolling inside the scroll element. So now what we have, like in inline scrolling, which is uh, just normal scrolling, right? So now let's activate the snapping behavior. And for that, I would like to, to configure the P. We already have it. So I can say um, scroll, scroll, uh, align to start. And with that, you see already something uh, happens here. So it will also snap to the uh, start. Now let's do the same with the end. Then it will snap to the end. And of course, there is a, of course. So there is also a center. And if the center, it will scroll to the center. So um, so this is how how it happens. So. Okay, this was scroll snapping, a feature where you don't need JavaScript, just you can use CSS of, uh, for that. Thank you for watching. See you at AHEX Live conferences or even projects. Thank you and bye.